Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Mega Aquarium. Uh, we're looking at a tank full of fish, uh, which is perhaps unsurprisingly. Now these chaps advertise themselves to me as liking to live in a shoal. Uh, what they didn't tell me at the time is that they really just like just kind of sitting there, you know, pulling fishy faces and, and generally flapping but not making much progress in life. Um, so as a result, they're, they're not that much of a, uh, of a tourist attraction. Uh, the good news is that I've almost got enough star points to complete this level. Uh, at which point, I can move on to the next level. And that will be a, a whole fresh bit of challenge. Uh, we, we have got quite a lot of equipment needs repairing currently. Uh, I've just hired a whole bunch of new staff, but they're all flipping useless. Um, but, uh, but with a bit of luck, uh, by the time you come out the other side of the intro, uh, they'll have fixed up all of the kit that's currently broken. See you in a moment. Well, we do have repairs ongoing, but what we don't have is enough water quality in my, uh, in my main event tank here. Uh, although saying that, I've just, uh, I've completed the mission. Oh no, I haven't. Uh, I've, I've, no, I've got, uh, I've got new stuff. One of your guests needs the toilet. If you don't build them a toilet, they will go in one of the tanks. That was just kind of an unspoken, that's what was likely to happen. Alright, fine. What do I need to do with that? Oh, is this, is this a self-contained unit? Certainly appears to be, doesn't it? Alright, marvellous. Well, I could build a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of convenience space back there. Right, let's uh, do the usual. So if we pause up here and then we'll uh, we'll excavate out a bit more land. Let's not excavate too much. Otherwise I have to start thinking about behind the scenes. Um, right, there we are. Some of that and then a bit of this. Seal you in here, Buster. Like that. And uh, and we'll we'll lay on a we'll lay on a, 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 a convenience facility for those who are feeling inconvenienced. And I'll tell you what, when you come back out, the first thing you're going to want is a beverage. So have some of that. Um, good. Right. Well, that's that under control anyway. Uh, oh, I need to build three of them. All right. Well, this is easy enough. You move that over there. Right. I'm not having, I'm not having toilets littering my beautiful aquarium. They can all sit in one place. There you go. Uh, right, so to hit rank 5, we need another 35 points. I'm not that... I can't be that far away from it in terms of what I've already got. Uh, what you will find, however, is that your points total goes down if you, uh, uh, if you don't have enough, uh, enough goodness going on. So, uh, so quite often the way to, uh, to get over that kind of points hump is to, uh, is to just bang out another couple of tanks and, uh, and brute force yourself over the scoreline. Um, I mean, that, that counts, certainly. Uh, but at rank 5, we'll be able to research some new, uh, some new good stuff here. Right, let's, uh, I want to talk to me fish. No, I'm not weird. I just want to, give me, give me the tank. Don't make me talk to the lights. The, the lights are not of interest to me. There we go. Uh, where are you, skimmers and, there we are, a panther grouper. Uh, is size 14. He's a big lad, that one, and uh, you know, I'm full of full of vim, full of excitement, just kind of just kicking it there. Uh, once again, the, the water quality's uh, off the uh, off the mark. I mean, I'll stick another protein skimmer in there, but surely there must be a more efficient way to do this. There you go. Have some get some quality in you. All right, good. Well, we've got lots of feeding time going on. I'm going to up the tempo because we are, as you can see, I've dropped back down again. We, we had hit 370. We're now back down to 350 because uh, the, we, people are waiting for the fish to be uh, to be properly fed. There's my eels. What are you going on in this one? I haven't, I don't know if you, if you noticed or not, but I, I haven't memorized the name of all the fish yet. Um, that's, that's maybe unfortunate, but, uh, you know. So, so we, what we got here is, I mean, that's the chroma, the chromatis, I think that is. Uh, the only reason I know that is because it's black and white. This one, that's somewhat stripy. I think that's an angelfish, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, and then over here, 
What do we got in this one? We got the, the pink ones in this. Let, uh, let's actually find out. They're reef squirrel fish. It's a tank full of squirrels is what it is. Um, and they're in there hiding their nuts for winter. Uh, and then in, in the yellow themed tank, we got this upside down confusing looking fish here. And then ones that look like fish. Good. All right. Any questions about fish, I am more than happy to answer. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we've got, uh, we've got these fighting lion, tiger, whatever they're called. Uh, the Volitans lionfish. Rah! Uh, again, like many of the other fish, they don't do a lot. They just kind of kick it about a bit. And, uh, and there it is. Uh, but, I mean, all of this really goes to show why taking your kids to an aquarium such as this is an absolute belter of a day out. Um, they're going to absolutely love it. Kind of go, do they, do they do anything else? I mean, do they fight each other? I mean, is there a chance that, that we'll see some fish eating stuff? I want sharks. That's what we want. Lots of sharks. Right, okay, now then. Yeah, my star, my star points are, uh, are crashing a little. So we're going to have to build a new feature item in order to uh, push us over the top. I've got two and a bit grand. So what we'll do is we'll build a, uh, a singular feature tank in here. All right, 450. Now, obviously, if I'm patient, I'll have more than more than two and a bit grand. But uh, but patient is not a word that one might immediately uh, recognise as being one of my defining characteristics. Uh, let's go for the deep wall tank. There's quite a lot of faff involved in a deep wall tank, though, isn't there? Yeah. And more faff makes for more points. So let's uh, let's have some of that. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a belter of a tank, that one. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to fill out the back of that with uh, with nothing but equipment. And a, uh, and a feeding plinth. But I'm comfortable with a feeding plinth. Right, let's get it rolling again. Uh, right, sling a feeding plinth. Let's make it easily accessible. And then the ladder... Right, good. And then uh, let's get some uh, let's get some heat and filtration going. Yep, give me some heat. There you go. Got the temperature. Got the filtration. I might need uh, some of those little orange numbers in order to make that flawless, but uh, I'll worry about that in a minute. Um, and I need to be careful with regard to how many fish I actually sling in there. Hold on, what's a sponge sink for? Uh, can it can use when things get dirty. Alright, I'd better stick these in. I wasn't aware that they'd be, they'd become a thing. But we'll... Uh, we'll litter the place with a few of them, and then uh, with a bit of luck, they'll, they'll get sorted out. There you go, that should do the trick for now. There you go, thank you. Uh, right, okay, now then, new feature tank. There's nothing in there right now. I will I might single species it, um, but what we're after is a lot of star points. So I want uh, I want really exciting fish. Disco mushrooms, apparently exciting. Cowfish. These are exciting. All right, what's the risk with these? They grow by a bit. All right, that's fine. They're wimps. They're armoured. Uh, they may eat starfish. Good news, I don't have any starfish. All right, how many can I get in here? Not enough money. Oh no! Uh, well, I need a muscles, um, a muscle tank in order to uh, to get that going. But as you can see, it's already generating me a bit of cash. Uh, let's get the muscle tank in there. It's it's not a muscle tank. Big bun, cockle tank. Not enough money. How much is one of those then? I thought they were relatively cheap. I've got a cockle dispenser elsewhere. 180. There you go. I've got the cash now. Stop fighting me. Just give me some credit. I'm good for it. All right. There we go. And uh, they haven't got any scenery at the moment, which might make them a little bit despondent, but uh, they don't seem to be complaining too much. It's just it's just not riveting to look at uh, compared to the, majest the, the majestic uh, fighting formations of these, uh, of these yellow... What's it? I should really know what they're called. They're called... Uh, 
a longhorn cowfish. Oh, okay. Because they look a little bit like cows. Obviously. Um, yeah. Uh, how foolish of me. Uh, their their cow-like appearance is uh, is unmistakable. Uh, right. What's that done to the score? We're back over 370 again. If I fling a couple more fish in there, that'll do it, you know. But I'm a bit short on readies right now, so what we need is some more passengers to come in and uh, and and give me their hard-earned spending money. Hold on, there we go, made it. Right, what have we got? Three ninety of six thirty. Cripes. Okay, well we've got a lot of a lot of research to do. Uh, we've got a Belfast tank, power lights, more. We've got sponges. The schooling banner fish looks jolly exciting, doesn't it? Uh, if underfed, it will nibble slower moving animals. Nice! Uh, palm trees, yeah, 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 okay. Cool. Right, let's go. Um, great job. Corrector is uh, ready to reveal the list. Centres around three corals, the tubular sponge, uh, daisy star polyps, and toadstool leather coral. Nice. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put a coral tank in there, man. It's going to be easy peasy. You'll need the power light. Fine. Uh, after this, you can obtain the blue tubular sponge in the normal way. Alright. We'll need to be sourced from third parties. <gasps> Alright. Okay. Well, um, what should we do first? What is the power? The power pump will fuel two tanks. Gimme. Definitely want the power pump. Staff priorities. Okay, good. Oh, this is... We're starting to get up a level now. Uh, what do you need? You're an active swimmer. You require a tank uh, with at least 30 in terms of space. Fine. Oh, you see, I... You know, I was thinking that I'd, I'd, I'd seen all there was to see here. Uh, but it's all coming in now. Uh, right. Toadstool leather coral donation. You've got a couple of toadstool leather corals that you'd be prepared to donate. Uh, perhaps if we were to work on the design of the tank together. Maybe later. Uh, the same goes for the other chap as well. Because I need to do a bit of a reorganise because it's all a bit of a dog's dinner at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Now then, I think I just picked up something newish. Where's my, where's my cleaning stuff? Don't tell me I've got to manage the idiots. All right, okay. Nigel! Hello, Nigel. Well, I've got uh, feeding or fixing. No, not feeding or fixing. Um, what I'd quite like you to do is sweeping. Sweeping. In fact, tell you what, you focus on nothing but feeding. All right? Don't fire him. We need him working. Uh, and then Rachel... You are... Oh, okay, you're also a feeder. Kiki. Feeding. Jim. I like fixing things. Fix everything, Jim. Jim, all the fixing is what I want from you. Uh, Harry. A little bit more fixing than feeding. Everybody else, keep yourselves frosty. Stay in tune with the... Uh, with the... Ah, oh, hello, Flick. Bad news, Flick. I'm up in the tempo on your cleaning. Right, good. Now then, I think we got something fresh and new and interesting and exciting. Did we though? Or am I still working on the research for that? Uh, we're still working on the research for that. Alright, fine. Uh, well, the tanks I've got are, are pretty adequate. Uh, anything new in here? Basic pump, basic light. And... Oh, hello. The power pump. Sweet. Uh, right, okay, pick the next research. Let's go for... Um, now, I could go straight for the power light and work on the objectives that we've got here. Uh, look at this, fully grown. A Volatans lionfish. I've got four of those already, mate. Sorted it. Now, let's get the large protein skim. Activated. Uh, we do need to earn a bit more green in order to uh, unlock the, uh, uh, the... the swordy flying fish of peril. Um, and we'll we'll get that done. Don't worry. Have I missed anything else? Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything fundamental. We've got a, What does a, a feather calerpa do? Well, we'll find out. We'll put it in there and, and see how happy it makes the punters. Uh, 
right, what else? Anything else? Harborside paint? Oh, yeah, give me some of that. Bricks is what you mean by harborside. Okay, all right, I can, I can handle that. Oh, we've got some shells. Lovely. And an anchor. Look, and a palm tree and some nets. All right, we'll put put some nets in there and maybe an anchor and make it look like it's uh you know this is just so we fished this out of the out of the bay and uh it was like that when we found it so we've we've left it looking like it's full of rubbish because uh, that's kind of what it was all right i've got three and a half g's need daisy star polyps i do as it happens an important client needs a porcupine puffer I see. So you're going to try and trade me for some uh, some other fish that are hard to source because I haven't researched them yet. No problem. What's going on here? Why are, why is the, the the quality in this now now off the uh, off the mark? Give me a give me a talk here. Speak with me. I haven't. I don't, we've got the power pump, which I'm very excited and because this will now sort out two individual tanks. So I think if we were to look at the uh, the layout that we've got here, I could possibly remold, remodel this tank here, put some kind of engine room in this bit, and if I, I could stick two tanks next to each other. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm I'm all about all of this. Uh, so let's uh, spend some of my my ill-gotten funding. Hold on. Uh, pause, and then. Uh, Let's extend this out as far as there. Now, oh, that's too much. There you go. Do that. There you go. Um, right. So we'll, t we'll turn this. I'll probably put a, a little a, a smallish, smallish fish tank in the corner here. Do we want this to be a through route eventually? I think we possibly do. Um, well, in that case, what we'll do is we'll sling a wall down there. Uh, let's leave a let's leave a door, All right? And then we'll sling a what's it in here? Now the ideal there would be that I stick a fish tank in the side of each of those, um, but you know I haven't done that, so we'll we'll worry about that later. And then we'll stick a front tank in there, but we'll only make it a little one because it all counts. Uh, we'll stick a smallish wall tank in the front of here. Like so. And then another one next to it, maybe? Not quite that close. Uh, how about there? There you go. So we've got two tanks in there. And then we'll turn the rest of this into an engine room. Um, I mean, I, I am starting to, to question whether or not... What's the problem here? It's currently being blocked. By what? You've got room everywhere! You fussy bandit. Uh, come here. Just... How do you feel about sitting there? Alright. Just just enjoy the view of an empty forthcoming uh, future feature. And then we will stick... No, wrong button. The wrong one again. That's the right one. Stick some doors on this. There you go. That's good. And obviously we want one there as well. That's, that's nice too. Now then. For, the, for my next trick, we will move. This is where things get, get dicey, because that's quite a... What? Must be located next to a tank. Alright. Alright, yeah, get that out as well. Get this out. Alright, have we got anything else? Oh yeah, we got we got the works going on in there. Now, it will need to be fed... Um, but we can have the steps visible to the public. Yeah, I know, everything's going to die. It's all right. Don't worry, I've got a plan. It might work. It might result in everything dying. Um, but we really won't know until I, until I give it a good old try. Right, that's those out of the way. That's temporary, you understand. Uh, now then, let's bulldoze these walls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Splendid. Rock and roll. Uh, and then we'll stick a platform about there. Yeah, like so. And 
and we'll get rid of that bit. Uh, bulldozer, please. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. I know, I'm just going to put stairs back in, but I don't, I don't trust them to go exactly where I want them first time. Stick stairs in there, right? And then we'll, uh, we'll move the drinks machine here. Move the drinks machine here. Thank you. Put the bin next to it. Good. And then we'll build, effectively, the same tank again next door to it. Uh, so my staff can get in and, and, and throw food over the top. Uh, and go, eat this! Um, while uh, while everything else is uh, is peachy keen. So, let's just... This doesn't feel tall enough. No, it's not a regular lagoon tank. It's um, uh, it's a, a big one. Where's me, where's me big tank? You're not giving me the opportunity to build a big tank. Oh, well, I'm, I am desperately disappointed. Which means I don't actually need to be able to climb up to it. Oh, no, it's a, it's a deep wall tank, isn't it? With the... How have you... How's it done that, then? Or am I not able to build one of those? Or is it an observer tank, maybe? Okay, alright, I've got myself... I've got myself perplexed. Do that, and then drag it this way. There you go, that's what it is. It's one of those. Um, right, leave a gap or two. So this one's not quite as big. Well, if it's not quite as big, it's not quite as much hassle. Uh, right, so the water quality is rubbish. Um, yeah, the temperature's off, off, uh, off piste. So let's see if we can uh, we can activate this this redonkulous big pump here. You're in range. You're both in range. If I put it in there, how about here? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. I can't see for sure. Also, you're starting to get perilously close to that tank, which is going to need its own uh, its own bits and pieces. Now, what I don't want to do is get too close to the uh, to the wall, because if I do so, I'm going to struggle to get all the uh, all the kit I need uh, slung in next to it. Do we think that outline in orange means that it is in range? Don't answer that. It's painfully obvious that yes, that's exactly what it means. Oh dear, I'm not, I haven't quite got enough room. Alright, let's, uh, let's bulldoze those and these. Because if I end up using those, it'll be, you know, it'll be reluctant. Uh, let's get this over here. There we go. Alright, so, these two little tanks are going to need combos. In fact, in fact if I make it so that they work with a combination job each... Something like that, and then something like this. Right, and we don't go over that, so we keep those uh, relatively simple. We'll put some uh, some good standard, uh, cheap and cheerful organic fish in those. And uh, and then uh, using the old power pump here, because I've got to get it all in range. Eesh. That one? No. That is, that is actually the only place I can go, unless we go as far as here. But that means I'm only going to have room for, for little stuff alongside there. I might have trouble providing enough. So, we look at this side. And again, the uh, it's all bad. Alright, new plan. In the event that the old plan is, uh, is revealed to be bobbins, you do a new plan. Alright. Uh, let's move some stuff about. You get over here. Just sit in the middle of the room. We're no longer putting a pump in the middle of the room, so you've got all the space in the... No. In the world. Uh, and then we can also uh, delete all of this lot. Whoa! Can't throw away gently. No. Alright, I mean, it's just as well it gives you a warning there, because uh, that would have been the end of that tank. Uh, it's just as well it hasn't got any fish in it, I suppose. But uh, even so, that's not, that's not what you want to happen. Good. Right, now then, where are we going to stick these? Well, let's just, let's just move along a bit. There you go. There you are. Perfect. And then, big pump. 
I mean, it, arguably, this is slightly closer to what I described as my uh, my goal in the first place. In fact, you can put the big pump down here, and everything's in range. Typical. Well, typical or not, that's what we've got. Let's go for that. Right. That one and that one. You said I could connect two tank. There we go. Add tank. That one. There we are. Right, now then. We're going to need to, uh, given the size of these two tanks, this pump has got to do an awful lot of heavy lifting. Um, so we're talking, I mean, the large heater does 90, and so does the large filter. And so those two are the same size as two of these. So that is the better way to go. Right, large heater. Right, we'll have a pair of them. Ah. Uh, a couple of large filters. How's that feel there, chaps? Well, this tank has stopped complaining. And I've still got space on there to add uh, to add more good stuff as well. So I think we'll put the large, uh, the large protein skimmer on this. So we can skim off a large amount of protein. Although I don't really understand how it differs... To a uh, to a standard uh, filter, but obviously it does. Anyway, that's that hooked up. Those two tanks are now peachy keen. Um, we'll stick another door in here because uh, I think it's going to come in handy, and then we'll unpause and let let uh, let things roll and see if I've wrecked it. Here we go. Anything in there dying? No. Uh, and then the other benefit we've got from that, of course, is that... Uh, oh, hello. We've got a scalling banana fish. You are about to see some action, my friend. Uh, next research is going to be... Let's go straight for the object. Uh, no, let's, have a, let's have a puffer. Right. It's an active swimmer. It needs a minimum of... I think it was 30-some-odd uh, that it needed. And I'm hoping that this tank here will, will have sufficient... Schooling fish banner. How much do you need? 30. Yeah? Yeah, you're good? Alright, something's made you unhappy. Let's pause up. What do you need? It's lonely. Oh, Alright, well, you know, let's let's make you less lonely. How's, how do you feel about that? Uh, also, how many do I need to make you so you're not lonely? You need a group of six. I don't think we've quite got that yet. And I'm starting to run a smidge low on cash. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Golden. Uh, start. Put some. Uh, put some reefs and stuff in there. Oh, there this. Yeah. And then. Uh, and then kelp. Lots of kelp. Yeah. Kelp it. Get kelped. Kelp them up. They are. That. That looks. I mean, that's, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference between that and their natural environment, I reckon. There we go. Look at, look at the numbers go. Making, making mad points from that one. There we go, we got the new lights. Jolly good. And let's get a Belfast tank. I mean, not that I've really got a plan to, uh, to deal with that for the moment. But I'll tell you what, at least these shift... Uh, other other aquatic creatures that I've got in this here establishment would do well to learn from these chaps. Uh, they seem to have a seem to have a grasp of uh, of how to provide entertainment uh, for uh, for the people that have come to see Fishland in action. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's show. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure, and uh, uh, we will pay one last visit uh, to the land of fish, um, and I will advance us a little. Uh, before we get to that stage to see if there are sharks in the water. Fling a subscription in this direction if you're feeling like you want to do that. Um, and uh, hit the like button if uh, you, like me, like swimming in a big fleet of fish. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!